This is a game that'll blow your mind! Well, not literally. But maybe. Warp and Warp, a Namco arcade game from 1981. You start out by just walking around and shooting monsters with a gun. Kinda like Doom. What? Nah, I'm just kidding. It's more like Night Stalker than anything else. <laughs> Interesting. These monsters called Biddle Biddles just walk around and shoot arrows at you. And sometimes a different monster will come out for you to score a bonus on, just like Space Invaders. Seems pretty standard, right? Just you wait. Here's where it gets interesting. See the flashing chute that says warp? Check this out. Look, you've warped. Just like the name. Exactly. Now you're in a grid-like maze with more Beto Betos in chase. You don't have your gun here, but instead some timed bombs to blow them up with. Sounds pretty familiar, doesn't it? Some people speculate that Warp and Warp directly inspired Hudson Soft's 1983 MSX game Bakudan Otoko, known in English as... Bomberman. Yep. Considering how big Nemco was at this point in time, it's certainly possible that Hudson was aware of Warp and Warp and wanted to do a similar game for computers just two years after its release. The resemblance is pretty spot on, minus the addition of bricks. Nemco would eventually bring Warp and Warp to home systems, including a version for Nintendo's Famicom in 1985. Renamed Warp Man, the game now has new enemies, a bomb that can attach to enemies, and cooperative multiplayer. Talk about a major upgrade! And just months after that, Hudson would also do a Famicom remake with Bomberman, redesigning the characters, adding music, new enemies, power-ups, and bonus rounds. This remake will become a massive success and an all-time classic for both the Famicom and NES. Five years after that, Hudson would put out two landmark titles. The Game Boy game Bomber Boy, which included a port of the Famicom game, and another Bomberman remake on the PC Engine. The PC Engine game added more music and refined the gameplay of the Famicom game, and even properly introduced me and all the other colored bombers into the mix. Above all else, these two games added a vital feature. Multiplayer battles. The mayhem of multiple people trying to blow each other up added on a layer of chaotic fun that elevated the potential of the concept. Hudson now had a flagship series with dozens of sequels and spin-offs released throughout the years, with new games released to this day. Though, now they're made by Konami. Now my series is 40 years old, and the newest game, Super Bomberman R2, is on the way. So do yourself a favor and check out Warp and Warp or Warp Man, and thank Namco for possibly inspiring the game that started it all. You're welcome.